This is the 2020 Nissan Frontier. I'm Josh Smith, GuidingMobile.com. I've been driving this for the last week. Now, you might think this looks a lot like the 2019 Nissan Frontier that we recently reviewed, and for the most part, you're right. The exterior of this vehicle and the interior to many degrees is very familiar, but there's a big difference with this model compared to the outgoing model. Here we have a new 3.8 liter V6 paired with a nine speed automatic transmission. That replaces the manual and the five speed automatic that was in the 2019. Now that's a big difference and you might say, well, why is this in the same design? Why is this in the same body style? That's typically we see a brand new engine and transmission paired with a refresh. Well, there is a new Frontier coming, probably 2021, but for now we're getting to try that out right now in the 2020. And if you buy the 2020 Nissan Frontier when it goes on sale later this year, you're gonna get access to that new engine and that new transmission. I've been driving it around Ohio for the last week. Now, I've come away pretty impressed by the performance on this. I was able to drive the 2019 in late 2019, so I haven't had a whole lot of time between these vehicles, and it makes the comparison pretty easy. I'm a big fan of the driving characteristics of this new vehicle. So if you're looking for a better transmission, something that has a little bit more pep, feels a little bit more modern, and gets a little bit better gas mileage, then this is definitely something you're gonna be interested in. I spent most of my time on the road, on the highway, on back roads. I did a little bit of off-roading up a hill where I did put four-wheel drive on, and it handled that quite well. Here we have a look at the new 3.8 liter V6. This is brand new for 2020. This will carry over into the 2021 Frontier, and this is mated up with that nine-speed automatic transmission. Overall, the fuel economy from this new V6 and the new transmission is pretty good. The thing that really stands out to me is the on-road performance. I found that this has way more get up and go. You know, it's not a sport pickup, but it has definitely some pep to it. And I do appreciate that in a small to mid-sized pickup like this. The 3.8 liter V6 in the 2020 Frontier is 93% new. So a lot of new parts, a lot of new design going into that. And when I'm driving this on the road, the one thing that does definitely stand out is the overall pickup. I'm able to get going a little bit faster. I feel a little bit more pep. It definitely goes through the first couple of gears pretty quick so that you do end up using those higher gears and that nine speed transmission. One of the new features this year is a push button start located right down here next to the shifter. The interior is quite similar to the 2019 model. We do have that push button start. We do have power windows, power locks, a tilt steering wheel, and the leather wrapped shifter knob. One area that the 2020 Frontier does lag behind the competition is in the infotainment section. We don't have CarPlay or Android Auto. The head unit system is a little older. There's still a CD player if that's something that you're looking for. And down below it, we have all of our HVAC controls are separate. That's something that a few people do like. We do have connectivity options. We have USB. We also have a line in. And then as we look down at our options down here, we can control some of the four wheel drive. We have heated seats on both sides, as well as the ability to toggle traction control on and off and other quick access features that we need. In the back seat here and with the front seat in a position that's comfortable for this person, probably a little too comfortable, I still have an all right set up here. My knees are touching the back of the seat, so I would want them to go forward just a little bit. But overall, this is a pretty comfortable back seat for a small to mid-sized pickup. These seats do fold up. When you lift them up, there's not a flat spot and the floor is not completely flat. So that does kind of cut into some of the cargo carrying capacity back here, depending what you need to haul back here. So keep that in mind, test that out. There is a center console area that does pull down. There's no drink holder in there, but there are drink holders down in the doors. This model is equipped with a moonroof that opens all the way up. And then in the back here, we have a manual open window so that we can get a little bit more airflow coming through here. The Pro 4X that we have has the shorter bed. To me, this is a really nice sized bed because it's still pretty usable. One thing that I do wish came was a fully damp tailgate. So right now the tailgate is not damped. So you do have to be really careful when you put that down because it is a little bit heavy. Cargo management is very nice. We have these tie down cleats that you can spin and then you can take them off and you can put them wherever you need in the bed so i can have them here i can have them up front and then this right here slides out 
and reveals bottom tie downs. So there's a really good integrated cargo management system in here, as well as this spray in bed liner that looks pretty tough. We do have a backup camera integrated, but there is no 360. Up on top, we have a small roof rack that you can use that is standard with the Pro 4X. Thanks for joining me to take a look at the 2020 Nissan Frontier. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. That helps us out. Leave a comment down below. We'll try and answer your questions and subscribe for more from Gotta Be Mobile.